Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL Server training session with Learn at No Star. In today's session, we are going to write a SQL query in which we are going to identify any lowercase characters in a string in which we are expecting only uppercase characters. So let's get started. So I'm going to be working with the DIM currency table that is also a part of the Adventure World Data Warehouse database for SQL Server. And if I do a simple select on this table, I can see that there are three columns. There is a currency key. Then there's a currency alternate key, which is kind of a code. And then you have the full currency name. Now, this code is the one column in which we are expecting only uh, the string to be in uppercase. But if I scroll down and see some data in this table, I see that there are instances in which there are some lowercase characters as well in the currency alternate key. So now what I want to do is I want to identify how many currencies are there which have not come into this table in uppercase characters. So I'm going to write a query to find out and identify such records. Okay, so the logic that I'm going to use to identify any such records is basically I'm going to do an upper on this whole column. So all the data from this column will be converted into uppercase. So let's do that first. Um, so select start from DBO currency use aware clause because we have to filter those records so where upper on currency alternate key and then i'm going to compare it with the actual value of this currency alternate key column so i'm going to say this is when i convert it to upper this is not equal to so i'm going to use exclamation not equal to so not equal to the actual value in this column which is simply the value of currency alternate key now if i execute this query and if i take these two functions that i have applied in the select query itself so i'm going to put them here upper currency alternate key and then i'm going to put currency alternate key as it is from here and run this query okay let me just run the query till here first so i am saying select upper currency alternate key and currency alternate key if i execute this what is going to happen is uh, the first one because i already converted into uppercase it it is going to be uppercase the original value as well is in uppercase for most of the currencies but here we can see the difference so here the actual value is in lowercase but after applying the upper function the value becomes in uppercase so that is what i'm trying to use i'm now trying to compare this with this value so if it is not equal then i should be able to identify all the records which have any values in the lowercase so now if i run this and execute this query what i would get in the output is basically nothing and why has this happened so we need to identify the cause because the values are actually not same in the cases but the sql server has not been able to identify the cases and it has um, assume that those values are equal and that is happened because the collation which is the locational uh, language setting for sql server is case insensitive so let's verify that so let's do a select then do a server property and the property is collation And let's execute this command and see what is the default collation for SQL Server. So the default collation you can see is SQL, Latin, General, CP1, CI and AS. Now the CI part that you can see over here, that means it is case insensitive. So when we do this comparison based on changing the case of some of the columns, it will not, this comparison will not work. So to make the case insensitive comparisons work, you have to change the default collation of SQL Server. Now you cannot go and change it in the server. So we are going to do it only for this query itself. Now to do that, what you need to do is simply add a word here. Okay. So simply come over here and add collate and then specify a collation that you want to use. So the collation that we're going to use is again the Latin characters because we are basically working with English or French characters maybe. And this is the collation that we are going to use, which is Latin 1 general CSAS. Now CS here means it is case sensitive. 
okay now if i run the same query and execute this query you would see that we have got three records which had the actual values which were lowercase which had some lowercase characters and now okay let's just remove this and do a star over here and we would be able to get the full record so if i run this query now okay let me select the whole query if i run this query now we would get all these currencies which have got input characters which are some of which are in lowercase so this is how you can do a case and sensitive search in a sql server using the collation class by changing the collation for that particular query that you are executing now here we have identified any characters which had lowercase characters any strings which had lowercase characters it can be done the other way around maybe you're expecting the string to have only lowercase characters but you want to find out if any of them has any uppercase characters then you can use the lower keyword over here and make the same comparison so this is the idea how we can perform any case insensitive uh, comparisons in sql server this is all for today i hope that you found the video useful if you did then please do not forget to like share and comment on this video and share many more queries with us if you want them to be answered and if you're stuck at any of those queries we would be happy to answer them in our videos in the future uh, also please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel because we'll be posting many more videos soon thanks again for watching goodbye